الشمس والقمر والنجوم والجبال والشجر والدواب وكثير من الناس وكثير من الناس وكثير حق عليه العذاب ومن يهل الله فما له من مكرم إن الله فالذين كفروا قطعت لهم ثياب من نار يصب من فوق يصب من فوق رؤوسهم الحميم يصهر به ما في بطونهم والجلود ولهم مقامع من حديد يصهر به any masjid, the people from uh, the first generation from uh, the Pakistani, India background, mashallah, they established the masjid, the communities in UK, they work very hard and may Allah bless them and reward them for the hard work they've done. This is how any project will start. Group of people, they have a common interest and they start the project and that project become bigger and people will come together. But we have local masjid. And what I noticed, the people who are surrounding the masjid are from all over the community. 
And they were complaining that we don't feel the masjid belong to us. SubhanAllah, this is their complaint. Especially some of the businesses that's next door is exactly to the masjid. Next door. And one of them, he said to me, Mr. Abdul Rahman, I heard your talk about some of the support that was possible for the masjid. I want to tell you a few things so that you are aware. He said to me that we are a group of people from various backgrounds. What we are witnessing in the masjid is uh, when you enter the masjid, you feel people, they welcome you as you are a guest. We don't feel. He said, if I feel the masjid is mine, I will support them unlimitedly. I'm a businessman, I've got big money. I don't care what masjid, who belongs to masjid to, is belong to Allah at the end of the day, humanity, but it's the feeling. And I said to myself, SubhanAllah, we did not work hard for that feeling. People have that feeling naturally when they come to this place, with Allah alhamd. So it's, it's, it's fantastic to, to, to see this, those faces, alhamdulillah, relaxing. It's time for the soldiers to put the gun down and just relax and enjoy yourself. Maybe you think about helping a little bit here in Masjid or a project. But the concept of voluntary work is beyond that. I said, uh, I mentioned Sheikh Abdul Rahman Smith, who was a da'ya and he was uh, by the profession a doctor, medical doctor. He gave up his profession and collected his wealth with the backup of his wife, may Allah bless her. He spent the rest of his life in Africa helping the poor people, whether they are Muslim or non Muslims. And subhanAllah, in his hand, it's estimated like around 7 million people become Muslim in Africa. And he built around 5,000 5, masjids in Africa. SubhanAllah, if you think about this man, he gained the voluntary, the concept of voluntary work and charitable work when he was doing kashafa. Kashafa in English is? Scouts. 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 He was doing scouts. And he loved it. He loved the idea of helping people. And it developed with him. Yes, he became a medical doctor, but the idea of helping people, devoting yourself to help people, it was there inside him. And subhanAllah, he ended up running the biggest project ever probably in Africa in his own. Governments cannot run what he did. And subhanAllah, may Allah bless him and uh, motivate his, his ajr and his reward. And may Allah put him with the siddiqin and shuhada. He will be remembered ever. His janazah was... Um, was uh, prayed from the morning all the way to the uh, uh, group of people were coming after after groups subhanallah and I was following on Twitter his his uh, his janazah. So it's amazing yeah, what volunteer work, the concept of volunteer work can develop to become a massive. And if we think about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the entire work around the Prophet Sallallahu was volunteer work. From the Sahaba to the young people to the women who were helping, it was all unpaid work. But the project started small from Wadr Ashiratika, from Dawa, La Arabin, until we become the Ummah as we know it. And in here is no difference. SubhanAllah, when I, when I was talking to quite a few brothers and sisters um, about the project in, in, in Nagashi Center, it all the idea it started with a few people, five or six brothers, who were sitting beside the Quran together. And they thought, one day, inshallah, we'll have center for excellence, where our children can get the best education, where our people can pray comfortably, where we can dream to achieve big, th big things. At the same time as well, EMCA, as we know it, the Eritrean Community Association, was working hard to deliver services to the community. And subhanAllah, a few years later, that dream became reality. But what was probably remarkable about this masjid is the togetherness that we witness in this masjid. And it is a witness and testimony to the people of this masjid, whether they are Eritrean, Somalian, whether they are Algerian, Tunisia, Morocco, English, SubhanAllah, Pakistan, Bangladesh, wherever you come from, SubhanAllah, everyone who came to this masjid, they felt it's their own. And you can't, you can't say that about every masjid, subhanAllah. There is something about this masjid. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that made it that, that way. And people felt that way, alhamdulillah. It's only blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody worked hard to make it that way. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala somehow make people comfortable here, make people feel it's they want the masjid, so they take the initiative to help to take the front line. So alhamdulillah, everyone here have his own story about this masjid. And inshallah, later after lunch, I'll be coming around to have a quick word with a few people, inshallah, just to say a few words about how we feel about the services during Ramadan, during Eid, what else can be done. As a group of volunteers, inshallah, what else we can do to make the, the masjid better, and what kind of support we can give to the uh, trustee of the masjid, so we can have regular, more regular services, inshallah. With emotions, how how people they are so self self not self centered, self not selfish, self selfless. Yani individuals is not one of their vocabularies. People um, I saw people who have when we are shortage in, in iftar and everyone have his own portion. Um, we are about to eat. We are the self, the people who are serving the people because uh, the, the 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 fastest. Someone come. It's not a one or two. Every time, if someone shows up from the people who have done prayers, come to food, he give his own food, his own drink, and give it to him. And he, this man, he been fasting for 18 hours. Wallahi alaikum, he keep me in tears all the time, and subhanAllah, inside me. That's one. Secondly, people with all this, overwhelming with people, pressuring them, tell them to do this and that, all this smiling. Every time they were willing to serve. I will never uh, complain about some some individual who comes to approach him himself. Why you haven't done this? Why you haven't done that? Uh, so Alhamdulillah, yani, uh, I'm very blessed to know this kind of individuals. Wallahi uh, Thirdly, yani, Allah only Allah Subhanahu wa Taala reward him because us as a community we cannot reward him, reward them. And I have to mention one person in particular, yani, and uh, he is he's a soldier yani, behind this all this. And I have to mention I don't know is he or not. Where is he? This Akh Ali. Ali. Allah Akbar. Wallahi, I love him for the sake of Allah. Allah Akbar. No, maybe a lot of people they don't know. Before Ramadan, he came and make his wife to Shahada. So, mashallah, he tried to make her. Ali, 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 come, come here, come here. This is becoming big now. Yeah, Wallahi. We thought it was only thank you, but there is more to it. We need the microphone and make close here. Zakallah, Ali. Come here. So just a few words. <laughs> Mashallah, he's from a senior Bissau. He's been here for since this center been open every single Friday. He's he's self, not self-centered. He he helped and he loved this masjid. It's by action. It's not even by word. People they said, oh, love this, but by his by action, he takes. Uh, and uh, recently, I was a witness of him that gained uh, his wife being a Muslim. He tried. Persuade her for the last 10 years. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The kids. Allahu Akbar. And he's trying to make even his mother in law and his close relative to embrace Islam. Allah al Azim. This is. It comes over everything. And lastly, and Ramadan, he's, he's the soldier man. He's come all the way from Pemlik, uh, sometimes driving, sometimes on walk, sometimes on bus, and self centered. So, uh, self. Uh, selfishness. But I could not say a part of say Allah, may Allah reward you, the Jannah and the Jannah and for those who are in his family. And I, and I love him in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I hope I will be with him in the Jannah, inshallah. So that's the only thing I have. Uh, if you have to say something. Give me my Give me my Me too. Thank you very much for all you. All you guys are beautiful, my brother, my sister. My son, my daughter, I love you guys. We love you, Allah. I love you guys all, 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 all here. All, all, I love you guys. My dad, my uncle, my brothers. I love you too. But one thing in it, we're going to put together one hand to build this boss. I'm in the one in front. I'm in not just Ali. I mean, peak in the army. Since I'm 12, I've been in the army. Marino Corp and the West Africa. You in the peacekeeping, many countries. I'm being fighting in Liberia. For four years, I'm having two guns shot, AK-47. My leg, 
and in other hands. I'm being trained in Russia, France, Portugal, Libya, Morocco, and other Arab countries. But I don't like fight, I like peace. This can come here with most of that peace. I want to internet, we help each other, we understand each other, no fight. I'm for the end, many fight. I'm being the only peacekeeping in many countries. I'm flying many countries. Back home, my uncle in the chief. But we have a problem. I said, I don't want to be more. I don't want to see God. I'm too young for see God. About, 20, about 12 years in the army, that time I'm young, 12 years until now, 35 years old. I said, my uncle, I don't want to see people grow. I don't want to see people die. This happened, I'm being kind to everybody. I don't want to work for bad things for everybody. I'm not a brother, I'm not a sister, I'm not a uncle, I'm not a cousin. Everyone, I love you guys. We love you, too. Right. But please, one more thing. We put together two bands to get this boss. This is this for us. I'm living in the country every day or every Friday. So come here because I love you guys. I love this boss. Try help me. I help you guys to be in this work. Money is nothing. We think about dying in the grave. That is very important for, for us. If my woman power, two power put there. And the thousand put there. Because that and the thousand power is nothing. If I'm dying, it's nothing. Please, bro, try, try. I love you guys. Ali, Ali almost, Allah, yani, single-handed can summarize the spirit of this place. SubhanAllah, he summarized the spirit of this place. On Friday, in, in Friday, on Fridays, when I come and say Ali, SubhanAllah, I feel comfortable. When I see him in the door, I just I go and pray, SubhanAllah. Maybe I'm selfish, but I come from Urkrani, and I see Ali standing there, I just go and pray, I don't do anything. I say, Alhamdulillah, there is a strong guy standing there, he will do the job. Subhanallah, may Allah bless him, Wallah. Um, I think he lifted from our shoulders heavy weight, Wallah. And earlier when I was mentioning the first person to get up and, and, and look after everyone, I meant uh, Ali, Subhanallah. And I've seen it during Ramadan, and all of us we've seen it. He will just have his tamar, maybe milk if he's lucky, and then the next thing is he's moving around, helping, picking up everything. This is not to take away anything from anyone who's done a great job. Alhamdulillah, everyone has great experience. But for Ismail, can we all say three times, Jazaka, Jazaka, Jazaka Allah for Ismail? Because Wallahi, yani, the, the Ismail to start with, yani, MashaAllah, yani, it was too much for one or two people to do the job. But knowing going through difficult circumstances as well, the Sheikh was with him. And we know Ismail because he's a humble person. Everyone would just shout, Ismail, what is this? Okay, that's my ta'ala, that's my Wallahi, we all done it. So Ismail, in the moment of heat, we all say something. Salamina, inshallah. But you are a man, mashallah, to barakallah, jazakallah khair. So, kalat maraki da. Jazaka, jazaka, jazaka Allahu khairan. Walana, walaka, walana, walaka al-janna. Jazaka, jazaka, jazaka Allahu khairan. We talked to our father, Amma Hamad. Can you say I'm with him? Kulla haqul, winner, ya no, kulla tazari kaya ha, the soap. Translation soon coming, yeah? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
ከመሐላፍነት ጀምሩ ስጋ ታራ ሰብ ብጣዕሚ ዘሐጉስ ይሁ አብዝሎ ማህመድ ታይደ እዚ ድማ እና ምን ታይ ይውቀስ ናፍጣ መሪነት ተኸይ ንሳሌ ደካይዳ አቡ ዑመር ብጣዕሚ እኖ ማስኩኖ ለሙታይ ናቱ አካያይዳ ናይታ ኩላኮኒ ታይ አካያይዳ ብጣዕሚ ለማዓመድ ዝምስከን ስራሕ ተዳይ ወንሽኩርኩ ሰላም ዓለይኩም ወዓለይኩም ሰላም ወሻኩ ሰላም ያ አህመድ አማን ሰይ ሐላኩ ኢገዴም ክላብ ሞር ወኒ ሄን ወታዊ ሰይ ማሻላ አለ ዲስ ኢር ኢን ፓርቲኩላር ዲ ኮኦፕሬሽን ቢትዊን ዲ ቮሎንቲር ዲ ያንግ ቢፖል ዲ አልደሊ ዎስ ፈንታስቲክ አንድ ሾውስ ዲ ኳሊቲ ኦፍ ዲ ሊደርሺፕ ኢን ዲስ ፕሌስ ሌድ ባይ ብራዘር አቡ ዑመር ዲ ቸርመን and the togetherness and the services that we've seen this year was exceptional so alhamdulillah he is very happy and very uh, thankful for all the services that we provided and he thanked the management group he said normally if you have good leadership people will come together around the good leadership and he said it's testimony to the guys who are working out here and everybody was with them so jazakumullah khair welcome to you guys okay we have a lot of businessmen here and mashallah wa subhanallah يعني ده لاست ان بريك في رمضان احالي هاف جو هوم ما شاء الله ده في بس سوت اس دي ما ماش دي ساي باي ذا واي ام ليفين ترافل ناو بس ما شاء الله يعني هاو دو يو فيل ابوت دي مانث اوف رمضان اي نو اي توك تو يو انديفيدوال بس تو لوك تو بي نايس ان شاء الله يو سي يور نيم اند وير يور بزنس سو بي بوت ان كامز وورك اي فور مي ان شاء الله السلام عليكم هيك السلام عليكم انا مستر جيم داوود ور ريستورانت از تو رودز واي فروم ذا بول كوكس رود وي بين 25 ييرز We're coming to the masjid here for maybe maybe just over a year now. I've been in England all my life. I've been to many masjids in London, but I've never been to a place which is so polite, thoughtful, careful. If people that actually love you for coming and there's no animosity about where you're from, what you're doing, or anything, there's a pure love. And we we try to do whatever we could for the masjid. Exactly. During the Ramadan. And inshallah, next year we'll do the same as well. Okay. 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 Many of the provision of uh, security and uh, health and safety issue and he's running up and down, mashallah, to Allah, may Allah bless you. And um, probably a lot of people don't know, but Yusuf, mashallah, he's very systematic and very articulate in how he thinks as well. And one of the good things about Yusuf, maybe it's all of us who might learn from Yusuf. If he sees anything, he will come to the right person and address it, which is very good. You can just go to the office, speak to the right person. If it is health and safety issue, you go to the chairman or to the person working in the office, mention it. If it is something they cannot do, you will make an effort to go and do it. So, entrance ladies only. If it is done, fine. If not, you just rush and try to help to do it. And the painting was fantastic. Wherever you go, you see a mark from Yusuf, inshallah. Uh, from the entrance to the back. So, it's like Allah, you left your mark everywhere, you see. Before it from you, it's like Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. I like to thank uh, all the brothers that helped in this month uh, in Ramadan. Uh, thank you so much, and um, uh, I want uh, my Muslim brothers and sisters to think deeply and to, to see what Allah has gave us, and to think deeply about. what Allah has gave us so thank you so much and I, I don't I don't know what to say because I'm so happy um, I don't know what to say Barakallah Yusuf is single still looking for a husband Yusuf is single Yusuf is single Okay If I talk to brother Samir Uh, bound war, brother Samir or Zaki, between the two of you, maybe um, their support is uh, is witness from day one, mashallah, whenever we have any fundraising, any project, and every every day they are making children happy and exciting. I don't know how long we can maintain 
gift for every child. <laughs> this is the second or third year running now. So Jazamullah khair for all their support. And Zeki is one of the uh, few people who started the project for the masjid. When we had the small um, committee, the establishers, and there were about five of you guys. Five of them. So inshallah, we'll start with Zeki and maybe Sami can make a quick comment as well. Um, Allah, it's nice to be in a gathering of uh, beautiful people. Um, Alhamdulillah, we had a nice uh, Ramadan and uh, the preparation and the programs were, mashallah, beautiful. Uh, I will assure you that we will be here uh, every year, every day, uh, giving toys to uh, the children. Inshallah, so uh, that will not be a problem, uh, but more for more, uh, Inshallah, Samir will be giving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are business partners, by the way. Zakullah, Samir, Barakallah, Big. Zakullah, Abdul. Barakallah, Big. Right, Wazir al-Taghziya. وزير التغذية والدفاع ولا وأول ما بدأ المسجد برضه يعني كانت آثار يده في تديموريش and build and ما شاء الله يعني to to know what's available so he can organize it and make sure everybody is fed and everyone is is happy with with the meals and and ما شاء الله he is up to his word he doesn't like to be interfered with his job which at the beginning I was trying to help and then I got clash with him but when I looked at it and I thought سبحان الله this is how it should be. People know their department very well. They know what they are doing. And they deliver the best service. So, Habibuddin, and the barbecue was fantastic, Habibuddin. So, Jazakallah khair. A few words from you, Habibuddin. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wallahi, ma fi karam, lakin fi nasiha bas. Turbun hana aishin fi bilad ghurma. Wa bilad adat ghir adatana. والواحد كله ما عاش فيها فترة طويلة كله ما طبع بطبع البلد هذه لكن أوصي الناس بعمل تطوع عمل خير لما تكون أنت عايش في بلد كله بالفلوس ماني زماني فتبعد عن عمل تطوع فهنا اللي بيحي القلوب هو عمل تطوع فكل ساعة ساعتين واحد بيح القلوب وكل ما أولاده يشوفوه كل ما كبروا على هذا الشيء بعيد في الغربة هذه اللي تنفع وفي ما في أحسن من تطوع في بيت ربنا تاخذ فيه اجل في الدنيا وفي الاخر بارك الله فيك جزاك الله خير يا ربي ما شاء الله تصير جزاك الله خير جزاك الله خير ان شاء الله ابسلوتلي ابسلوتلي موضوع العمل التطوعي و انجلش انجلش البحر الاحمر Who doesn't know about Bahra Ahmed? Oh, mashallah, barakallah, yeah. Okay? Um, people, people probably know uh, Brother Idris uh, Ayn from just delivering the food um, to our center. But Idris, mashallah, jazallah khair, he's been with the project from day one, supporting us for our fundraising sometime. Donating the meal for free, sometime giving us an incredible discount, um, sometime donating money, given the Qarab uh, Hassan. He's been with us, alhamdulillah, in every sense. And um, even giving suggestions, we sometimes didn't go well in some of the meetings, some of the suggestions. <laughs> but, <laughs> Yes. We're still thinking about yeah, demolishing this I, and making it bigger. So don't worry, it's, it's in, the, in the mind. <laughs> it's in the mind. But uh, he's a good example. I, I sat with him once uh, and he was telling me about his business. And subhanAllah, he's been through a lot of struggle to reach to where he is now. And to know that, even you admire him more. Because at no stage he made us feel that he was struggling in his business. He never said that. I'm struggling, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. Alhamdulillah, he's always welcoming. If I can help, he will help. He will always say, if I can help, I will help. But Jazakum Akhir for everything. Good word from you. Jazakum Akhir. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for all. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our good things, inshallah. For me, I think if I speak in Arabic, it would be easy for me. 
كل عام وانتم بخير وربنا يتقبل من الجميع ان شاء الله امين وكل شيء عملناه هو يكون في في سبيل الله لا يكون للرياء ولا يكون لهذه الدنيا الفانيه ونحاول نحن نشتغل بما يرضي الله سبحانه وتعالى وفي نفس الوقت نحاول نخدم جاليتنا جاليتنا المسلمه سواء كانت اريتريا بسوق خاصه او جاليتنا المسلمه بسوق عامه وجزاكم الله خير وان شاء الله باذن تعالى حنكون جنود يعني في سبيل الله سبحانه وتعالى فقط ما نستطيع وجزاكم الله Um, it is for the sake of Allah, inshallah, together we can even do more, inshallah ta'ala, and may Allah purify our intention. That's what he said. Um, and Nisa, I hope that Mr. Muhammad will take the microphone, maybe you can tell us about it. Because Mr. Muhammad is the name of Nisa, inshallah, he is a very good person. نعم مش عارف والله لكن اذا ما وصلنا ولا والله ولا فيها ممكن تقول كلمتين ممكن ترسل لي تكست مسج يا محمد لو في شيء زياده تقوله لكن يعني واحده من الاشياء اللي سبحان الله يعني تلاحظها ون اوف سيسترز ام محمد جوهره ام محمد شي واز ليدين ذا وومن سايد فيري اوفتن Because mothers, sisters, they are busy, she was left alone. At no stage, mashallah, yani, complained about being alone or the work has been too much. She's always been there to help and to organize as much as possible, from the fundraising to the food to organizing for the Eid party. In the Eid morning, um, Sunday, when we did the barbecue, she wasn't well. Wallah, she wasn't well at all. And when I called, let's just check. Uh, if she is coming and um, what else we can do to give us idea. She volunteered even to do all the salats, about three, four times salats. So uh, I said, you are sick even, you cannot move from your bed. She said, no, don't worry. As soon as I get up and I start doing something, it all will evaporate, subhanAllah. And Allah gave her the strength and she did some beautiful salats for 100 people or 150. So Muhammad, min kulla nahina, jazakallah wa kulla khayr. برضو الأخوات اللي كانوا يساعدوهم. The way we set up is by her ideas. ما شاء الله تبارك الله. The setup we've seen today as well, the beautiful setup. ما شاء الله. Is the idea, the brain idea of from Muhammad as well. ما شاء الله. And as well as Muhammad, there are some sisters with her who help us through some of the activities in Ramadan. So جزاهم الله خير. Muhammad Najwa and Um Murad, Zainab Aman, Um. أم عمر نعم of course إحنا سايبين الشيرمن وأهل الشيرمن كلهم لله يعني أنت قاعد تستعجل ماشي الحال يعني أم عمر ما شاء الله تبارك الله عادة بيسيب الحاجة كبيرة للآخر طيب بس ما شاء الله والله جزاهم الله كل خير so what I'm gonna do now is just quick word from few people إن شاء الله so we can I know people have other commitment and we need to do a couple of things as well so if I can just quickly maybe just speak to Muhammad Jafar and then some of the volunteers, just a few words, inshallah. No more than 10 seconds, inshallah. everyone. And I just want to thank everyone, the volunteers, and who worked throughout the Ramadan day and night. Jazakum Allah khair, and may Allah accept your effort and reward you in Jannah, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khair. Barakallah khair. Jazakallah khair. And I thank all of you, mashallah. I am happy in this minute, and I felt happy here. I also like to thank, especially Ali. And this month, like he. he he like he, he showed me like like as as a brother. I we 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 just call him soldier. We didn't know why he was soldier. But he was a soldier, mashallah. One of the soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did as Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Tayyib. Akhi al Habib bin Jazair al Habib. Mashallah.
كلمات طيبه منه في الفوز كل اسمه بالكامل بس عشان الناس كمان اوكي كمال 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 And this is actually, I've been praying Ramadan, Sino Taraweh, and Eid uh, nearly everywhere. But this is actually after 22 years, this is my first uh, proper Eid and proper Ramadan I feel in this mosque. I feel like even my Iman actually went up by just coming here and praying with the brothers. I uh, feel like I'm at home. Uh, Eid, I didn't actually, usually I feel like Eid, I'm like alone here in this country. But this Eid, Wallah al like actually better than Algeria, Wallah al -Adin. And Jazakallah uh, khair, and I uh, hope inshallah I will be you know, around here for inshallah a long time, inshallah. And do the good work with you too. <laughs> وجزاكم الله خير يعني كل الاخوه اللي اشتغلوا في طوال هذا الشهر الكريم من دون استثناء صراحه يعني الله يجزاكم خير وربنا يجعلكم ميزان حسنات ان شاء الله. ان شاء الله. طبعا كامل ذا سبيريت اوف اوف ذا مانث ان شاء الله تعالى. ذات تيبل از سو ريتش. It has some of the best volunteers of this month as well. But let me just go to Abu Yasser, Abu Yisra, and then I'll come to you guys. <laughs> الروح العاليه اللي بشوفها هذه اكيد يعني احسدكم عليها يعني فكل عام وانتم بخير ووعدكم مبارك ساعدكم الله اكبر الله اكبر الله سبحانه وتعالى ابو يسرى and other people والله every single corner every single wall every single carpet ceiling will witness I know والله there are few brothers here ابو بشرى والله will witness for them ان شاء الله تعالى in the day of judgment because this is what matter as Ali said it's not about saving money or going away with something in your pocket or with a big name. Like in Subhanallah, يوم لا يرفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم. نسأل الله لكم الأجر يا عائلة أبا يسرى وأبو بشر. أديناك أبو بشر. محمد. محمد. Okay, ما شاء الله. ما شاء الله. محمد. صار ما. شاء الله. طيب. هلا خلاص. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلاة والسلام على سيدنا سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد بشير الصحابي رضي الله عنه. الله خير والله ما شاء الله تبارك الله يعني كان لكم بارت تايم المرة هذه. إن شاء الله المرة الجاية فول تايم. وأول ذا برادرز جزاكم الله خير علي يوسف أول ذا برادرز ما شاء الله ذي فيري ويل. أول ذا بليس مي الله بليس ذيم ويز ذا بزنس. وإن شاء الله رمضان القادم يكون أفضل بإذن الله. عرفت جزاكم الله خير عبد الله He's gone, yeah? But mashallah, it's all right. As the microphone cannot, if you can just sit here. Muhammad Ahmad. Muhammad, Sayyid. Muhammad Ahmad, I know him for a long time, mashallah, and he doesn't really like to give talk or he's just shaking his head. No, no. But mashallah, Muhammad is one of those people uh, I'm not going to say humble and all that, because we know Muhammad, but he's one of those people who is at ease when you ask him for help. SubhanAllah, you don't hesitate twice. There are people, before you ask, you, you think. Muhammad is one of those people who say, Muhammad, we need help. Before you continue, you complete your sentence, he's there. So, it's Allah, his, uh, his stand is, uh, is everywhere. So, it's Allah, I know Abu Omar and many of the volunteers that are very, very highly. So, it's Allah. Towards, towards, just... Muhammad IT. It's well. It's not easy to lead such a big organization and to add to the organization such a big masjid like Nagashi Center with the expectation becoming even bigger now. And it's a big team as well. 
all the brothers behind him, mashallah, is working together. Muhammad Jafar, very often, he was here. I know he had his guests coming from Europe, and he was struggling, you know, to, to, to make our time for his wallah is not easy. I'm saying that because the role of the trustees, brothers and sisters, is not operational, just to know. The role of the trustees is not operational. When we choose them, about almost nine months or ten months ago, we promised them, and we said, you can have only three meetings a year or four meetings, maximum. That's all. You're going to meet, make decision, and the center somehow will run by itself. It didn't happen. We didn't have the resource to have a full-time staff. We didn't have the resource to have a director for the center. We don't have. Steve was struggling with the debt. Inshallah, soon, maybe things will get better. Inshallah. Inshallah and they will relax a little bit. But at the moment, they are working as full-time. And inshallah, may Allah reward all of them. Ahmed Jafar, Abu Omar, Ismail, and Ahmed Bashir, and Adil, Ali Isa, Abu Afnan, Mustafa, and Abdul Qadir Naim. Of course, Abdul Qadir Naim, we have a lot of people who are Abdul Qadir, mashallah, Ali. A rajal, we have a half of Muhammad al Kubra, Ali. Zamullah, all the khair. So we say, just Zamullah khair for the board of trust. We mentioned Adil. Adil Hamid Abu Hamid, we mentioned them, Jazakumullah khair, all the brothers, because when we choose them, as I said, Allah, we promise them, they will have a light work to do. But it didn't happen, it didn't work out to be light work, it's become very heavy, but Alhamdulillah, everyone enjoyed it, everybody is making dua for you. And one thing, guys, remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can test you in your time in a different way. One child of your children can be sick, and you can be spending the time day and night in hospital. Okay? You might think, Ramadan, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. One child gets sick and you are, the rest of Ramadan, you are in hospital. SubhanAllah, you never know this volunteer world, this dua that many people are making for you, how far it's reaching, Wallah Azim, you don't know. Because Allah only knows what was the destiny of that time. And with the money, it's the same thing. Wallah, you will, you will park your car in the wrong place, and we turned away, it will be taken away, and he spent 300 pounds. The 250 that you were thinking, shall I pay to the masjid or not? You end up paying it for traffic burden, you end up paying it for um, something that you didn't want. You buy your child a gift, and you think, I'm going to make my child so happy, and you pay probably 300, 400 pounds for a game, and your child is not impressed. And you buy your child a gift for one pound, and the child will be jumping up and down. It's the blessing of Allah. Money, time is blessed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, don't think the time is spending here, the money is spending here, it will go just in the, in the vacuum. La wallahi, Allah will reward you for every bit you've done here. All the volunteers, jazakumullah khair. I'm sure Abu Omar has got a few things to say, inshallah. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have uh, enough time to cover all the programs that we have, but we, inshallah, we try to skip quickly. Uh, first of all, uh, and Abu Hanim, because we sit down and we talk about so many things, he mentioned what I wanted to say, and exactly he mentioned the points I was trying to make. So exactly that Abu Hanim said about every single one, every single person, I'm 100% uh, behind him, and I agree exactly with what he said. But he didn't uh, leave too much for me to say about you. But may Allah bless you and may Allah reward you uh, because I'm talking to my kind of people. I'm talking to volunteers, people who think that there is life, people who have got energy, people who think uh, they could provide to the society something, people who have, yeah, and it's in, them, in their blood. Sometimes I got someone to convince them to assist with something, but I'm talking to people who are there, even before I'm saying, I said anything or I say anything, I find them in front of me. So probably the same feeling, the same emotion that you have within you uh, or within me, I think we share it. So this one making life easy for me just to go forward and execute tasks. Because sometimes you come to do a, uh, a specific task, then you find the people asking you, what do you mean by this? Why? Why do you have to do it? But there are people, when I tell them, we are going to come and set up this place in the way that you see it, they will come and do it. While other, while other people, I will waste my time <coughs> trying to convince them just yani, to come with me. 
probably they won't assist me after they come. So this is the reality of life. But to my kind of people, what can I advise them? And when you give something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will find the reward somehow within you. And today uh, I have uh, special guests, uh, at least to uh, highlight their experience and what you could do with your involvement with uh, IMCA and any uh, community uh, work or uh, any voluntary work. Inshallah, I'll keep it for another occasion and bring you some uh, probably case, uh, special case or case studies that will benefit you. But to highlight within what we have in the center, I think we could achieve quite a lot. As you see here, we have different skills, different experience, and uh, different uh, kind of, of businesses. So probably having the volunteers and some businesses, it might assist to have a network and you have a people who are trustworthy. Sometimes you ask for references. If you have a businessman, probably you have people who are the right people to employ maybe for your business. This could be another uh, an option for, for, for both, for all of us that we could benefit from within instead of maybe going to others seeking for a job. Probably we have the resources and the opportunities within. Secondly, when you do voluntary work, uh, or when you are engaged or uh, working in some sort of activities, you have to gain uh, transferable skills. Uh, communication, if you are sitting at your home, or you are engaged in the community work, in different, uh, coming, uh, executing different kinds of projects, and communicating with different uh, uh, kind of people, this is a communication skills which is transferable that you could obtain it being engaged in voluntary work. Also, sometimes we, we, we need to have kind of a purpose in life. <coughs> this purpose, we could execute it or find it in a way in being engaged with communities and with different kind of people. And what I found within the people which I was involved, mashallah, they have got so many things that they have offered me. When I am down, I find them supporting me and lifting my morals. When they are down, they will find the same support from me. Because it's, to some extent, we have some kind of moral values, some uh, kind of uh, uh, shared values, and we need to support one another. From that perspective, we will kind all uh, this benefit coming within the people that you have. Even the, the job which I've got now, probably I didn't know much about my skills, but I found one of my colleagues who forced me to go and apply for the job which I've got. And Alhamdulillah, I'm doing well. And I think many of us who have been involved, when we get involved in, the, in the, when we got vacancy, we prove ourselves to be the right people for, and we are ready to do anything. We find in the job that we have people complaining about stress. So subhanAllah, when we have some projects that we executed in the center, maybe we sleep more before four hours. And by the end of the, of the day, are we getting paid for that? No. But we have the gut and the feeling, the passion to do it and do it as if it was paid. Even better, because the, we feel the responsibility even more, because nobody is there to do what we are, going, what we are doing. <coughs> so we went through so many stress while we are doing some projects as, a, as volunteers. So when we are at our work, people complaining about stress, subhanAllah, we find that what they are talking about. We show you what stress like. And you are getting paid, mashallah, handsomely, and you are complaining. We used to do this even more without any payment. On top of that, from the people that I have experienced and I work with uh, through my involvement with IMCA, sometimes we went through difficulties and we have bills to pay and we didn't have anything. And yet, subhanallah, because we felt the responsibility, we had to put some of the bills direct debit into our account. So to that extent, we have the passion and reaching the way, the, the, the level that we are in, it wasn't easy. This is some of the experience that we have. But Alhamdulillah, 
I could never regret whatever I have offered. In fact, I found that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessing us and rewarding us in a way that we don't know. So inshallah, what I ask you is to be always positive. If you are going through difficulty now, remember that it's only for a period of time and do your best to overcome as soon as possible and surround yourself with good people. And being involved with voluntary work, I think it's a key for all of you. It's not only uh, maybe spending your time, but it's a skill that you are earning and it will pay you sometimes down the line. Always have this positive perspective and it will pay you. It will keep you going and inshallah you will reach your destination. From us here, what are we going to provide? Inshallah, every single of you, we are going to start empowerment towards sustainable em employment. Come back. Okay. okay. I'll conclude. So we have a kind of a activity, which is every Wednesday, we have someone professional to give you advice and guide you how to obtain a sustain, uh, how to, ve to develop yourself to obtain maybe sustainable employment. Uh, supporting with your CV, Abhan inshallah will be, will be there to give you some ideas what you are going to do. And inshallah, if any uh, vacancies open up within ourselves, definitely we will find some people who have got the skills and they will be, when they compete with the others, they will be and they will gain the advantage. Uh -huh.